time, I'd like to welcome all our online viewers here this morning. And I say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as we continue to worship here and at St. John's. At this time, I invite all those online viewers to join us in a couple of Christmas hymns. We're going to start on page number 218. 218. It came upon a midnight clear. It came upon the midnight clear that glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth to touch their hearts of gold. He saw the earth good will to men from Oh, 
The boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in years, and in divine and human favor. Since the reading of God's holy word, you may be seated. So you know, that's really, the, in, the, in the Gospels is the only story we have of Jesus as a child. And, and what a fascinating story it is. Uh, when Jesus upsets his parents, um, because he's about what God is doing. And, and you know, I, I take the, you know, this has been interpreted where it says, you know, um, um, after three days they found him in the temple sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Some have interpreted that to mean that he was asking them, like he was the teacher, and asking them, I don't think that's the case. I think he's just trying to soak all this in. Maybe he's just beginning to learn who he really is. And he's just trying to learn all this. And it just reminds me that we're always learners. Um, starting in January, uh, I don't have the exact date yet, but uh, we're going to go back to Sunday school, right? We're going to have an adult Sunday school class. These were always learners. If we're 12 or we're 22 or 92, you know, we always need, there's always something here to learn. Jesus came to the temple to learn. Yeah, he was Jesus, but he came to the temple to learn. So it might seem like sometimes it's hard to learn in our schools nowadays. And um, so I, I, what I really wanted to do today was tell a little story with your help. Um, tell a little story. I don't know exactly how this is going to work out, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So um, it, the story goes like this. In a, in a public elementary school several years ago, quite a few years ago, they were having a Christmas program. They called it a Christmas program. But you know, it's one of those things that it's a public school and you weren't allowed to publicly name Christ. You know, they couldn't, any official function couldn't, couldn't uh, uh, say anything about Jesus or that this was what the, the Christmas is really all about. It's about Jesus coming. And it couldn't mention anything like that. But they had a program called Christmas Love. And uh, they had a bunch of, it was one of those things where, you know, they said, you know, C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S-L-O-V, somehow I'll we'll put all that to music. And then the kids had little signs, or little, each, each had a letter. So I have the letters up here. So here's where I need my volunteers, but you have to listen to me carefully for this to work out. Um, so if the volunteers would please come forward. Anybody who's willing to come forward. And, um, and right up here, there's some letters. Okay, so can you take like Sue the first letter? And then they're sort of in order, so then you go to the far right over here, Sue, like behind the, uh, your other right. Yeah. 
We have four more letters. Four more letters. Three more letters. Two, two letters. Total runs going twice. Two letters left. Two letters left.
what the love of Christ is all about. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. And amen. Now, before we have our last hymn, we actually go to... This is our last Sunday before 2022. And um, appropriate to just enter into a time of prayer. So we're going to have a prayer of thanksgiving, a time of intercession as well. And at certain times during this prayer, I'll be pausing. And as I pause, you can just sort of silently lift up um, continued prayers to God as well. So with God in our hearts, let us enter into this time of prayer. Holy God, heaven and earth are met this day in the newborn child, Savior of the world. We celebrate his birth, for in him you come to be close to us, that we might be close to you. Especially we give thanks for the birth, life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and all he means to us. for prospects of peace in the world. For confidence in your almighty love. For those who generously give, for those who graciously receive. For the church is nurturing us in the faith. For all of these we give you thanks. God of all mercy, as you have come in Jesus Christ to be our guest, inspire our hearts to a hospitality that welcomes all your children in his name. Especially we pray for those who have not heard your good news. For the sick and the suffering, For those who know no laughter, only tears. For those who govern and rule.
for those enslaved by tyranny. for prisoners of addiction or abuse, For the church is a refuge for the needy. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and all God's children said.
the truth, the good news that Jesus is born, he is still alive, he is with us, he lives in our hearts, and for that, all that, we're so very thankful. So help us to go this moment, this day, with joy in our hearts because of what Jesus has done. We are so thankful, Father. We are so blessed, such a blessed people, that we go in joy, we go to share with the world the good news of Jesus Christ and the birth of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen, amen. Go in peace to spread the good news of the gospel. You may go.